Hello, my name is Rich, and this is a tutorial on how to create a secret gift exchange using Google Apps Script. This will be a combination of a sheet, a form, and script. Start off by navigating to this URL. It will take you to a view-only copy of this spreadsheet that has a linked form and script. Then go to the File menu and make your own copy to work with. Go ahead and give it an original name. In this example, I'll call it My Secret Gift Exchange with Google Apps Script. After clicking OK, your own copy will be created, and you are the owner of this new copy. And I will go ahead and close the view-only version that I started with. Now I've got my own copy here. And if I go to Form and Edit Form, I can customize the form that I'll be using. The first thing I should do is give the form a new name. And now that I've renamed the form, I have the opportunity to customize the questions if I'd like to. You might notice that the last question is a little bit silly, and it's uh, simply a unique identifier. So it can really be anything you'd like. It's important to leave the questions in the same order However, you can customize the phrasing of the questions however you'd like. I'll show you more about the reason for the last question later in this video. Now I'll go to this gear up at the top. It gives me some options. I'm going to select these two options here, which will allow users to uh, edit the responses afterwards. Choosing these options does require that the people that are filling out have a Google account. So if you plan to send this to people with an AOL account or something else, uh, don't choose that option. Up here in the color palette I can change the theme of the form and feel free to customize it to whatever you like. If you click this icon at the bottom right you can pick uh, from the template gallery where there are quite a few different uh, templates that Google provides and you might find one that fits quite nicely. I'll use this one with the uh, dinosaur holding the present for the example here. When you are all done editing your form and ready to send it to your participants, go to the Send button at the top right to open this window. In this window, you can choose a subject line for the email that your participants will receive with the form for them to fill out. You can also include a message that will give them some context as to why they're receiving the email and perhaps uh, some rules about the secret gift exchange, maybe the spending limit, or the date and time for the event where you'll exchange gifts. If you scroll down in this window, you'll find additional options. One of them will allow you to embed the form in the email they'll receive. By default, they'll receive an email with a link to fill out the form. If you embed the form in the email, they will not see the theme that you've picked. Here on the email line, you'll put in the email addresses, and once you've got everyone's address in there, just go to the Send button at the bottom right, and this will send them an email in order for them to fill out the form which will populate the spreadsheet that we made a copy of in the first step. You'll need to fill out the email tab within this spreadsheet. This email will be the email that will be sent out when you send the selections to your participants. So this is the email that they will receive informing them of who they will be shopping for. Here you can put some details that you'd like to appear in that email. In order for the dollar sign to appear in the email, you've got to put this apostrophe in front of it. So I put apostrophe dollar sign 25 to represent spending limit of $25. Now here's an advanced tip that allows you to edit the script. And this would enable you to customize the email that your guests will receive. And this is not necessary. I'll just show you in case you do want to learn how to get into the script and maybe tune it up a little bit. So I went to the Tools menu, Script Editor, and in a new tab, the script uh, will open up. Here is where you'll see all the properties of the script and all the syntax that's in there. Um, so if you know your way around here, you can make some changes if you feel necessary, but uh, probably the most common thing that someone would want to edit in here is the text that is in the email that is sent out. So here in the body portion you'll find the text and you can edit it by just changing the words here. 
make sure that they stay the same color because that means that they're going to be placed into the body of the email and not becoming script code. You'll see that red dot there that means it needs to be saved, so go to the file menu and choose save and now your changes to the script have been saved. And here I'll just give you a quick demonstration of what it looks like to fill out the form. The asterisk to the side of all the questions indicates that they're required questions. And uh, here I am just filling out the form uh, on the form web page. And uh, once I'm done filling it out, I'll just hit the submit button. Let me just put in a carrots and submit. Now the form has been submitted, and since I did choose the options earlier, I can edit the response. It only allows me to submit it once, and then afterwards I can edit the responses. Let's change carrots to apples, and submit again, and that's just editing the previous response, not making a duplicate response. As the responses come in, they'll populate the form sheet. When I'm done collecting responses, I can flip this switch in the Responses tab of the form sheet to prevent any more responses from coming in. And at this point, I will go ahead and scramble the form responses and put them into the secret sheet. So I need to authorize the script. I went to the Sponsor menu, chose Scramble. It brings up the Authorize window for the first time I ever used the script. I choose Allow, and now the script has run. And here you can see that the form responses have been scrambled. Now I'll go back to the sponsor menu and choose test email. This is just going to send me an email with the body of the email that will, my participants will receive. So it's simply just a test. And you might notice that it's very difficult to read the text here on the scramble tab. And the purpose is, even as the spreadsheet administrator, it's difficult for me to see who's been paired with who. But I can uh, take a quick look in the black columns there, the one that had the favorite fruit or vegetable question, and kind of do a sanity check to make sure that uh, nobody was assigned themselves. Or if it looks like they might have been, I can raise an eyebrow at it and investigate a little bit further if it's needed, but it shouldn't be. To actually send the, the results to my participants, I'll just go back to the sponsor menu at the top of the screen and choose send invitations, and that will generate an email, an individual email to each person that tells them who they're shopping for. After I'm all done, I'll create a calendar event that's got all of the guests in it so we can exchange gifts. And there's quite an easy way to do that. So I'll just go to the calendar, create an event, copy in the location, and then I can go back to the form, copy in the guest list, paste that into the calendar event, and I've got an event created with the form respondents. And that's it. I hope you have fun using it. If you have any questions, comments, perhaps an improvement or suggestion, please don't hesitate to make a comment on the video below. Thanks for watching.